Hi, it's Eric, and today I'm going to take you through the general bill of materials and then build a schedule based on various objects in your drawing. Now, I have drawn some really simplistic objects just for the demonstration, but they can be whatever objects you need them to be. In other words, as long as you place a bubble to them, it will be tabulated in a schedule. The bill of materials table can be either inserted in the drawing itself or it can be sent to an Excel spreadsheet. So up here in the ribbon, we have our bomb utilities. And these utilities are general bomb utilities. So they're not really for the piping, ducting, or structural. The first time that you use this, you probably want to go down and select bomb configure. And it's super important to get the table just right before you start a project. This includes building the table the way you want it. So I want to build it in a downwards direction and I'm going to be sending this to the drawing. I also have the option to use various shapes here. I'll be exploring mostly the circle and then we'll get into the leader only option here, but you can create squares, double circles, hexagons, and so forth. There's an option here that I'm going to toggle on and what this does, it allows me to insert the bubbles first and then build the table. Whereas if it's unchecked, the table will be built as you're placing the bubbles in the drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and check this. Then I'm going to go into the table design. And here there's a few fields that have already been built for me. And this is new to MetQ. Previously, you'd have to set all this up before a project. So this saves a little bit of time. If you need to edit any of these fields, you just click edit and type the heading in that you need. Now, maybe the field length needs to be a little bit longer. I'm going to show you an example of using a four character field. So maybe I want this to be increased. So let's increase this to, and after you're done with the edits, you always want to choose in place and then choose. Okay. And it's always good to get a feel for these settings before you start a project. Once you configure your table design. You're not allowed to go back later and then change it after the table's been inserted. So just keep that in mind. Once we have this set, we can choose apply and then we'll start to uh, bubble up our drawing. So we'll come up here again. We'll choose bomb balloons and now it's asking for the leader start point. Now here we have several options. We can choose an arrow for the leader dot just the line itself or no leader at all. So let's start out with the arrow. So we'll type A for arrow and place the arrow here against this square, come up, press enter. And now you have the item number and quantity. And here we can just add the new description. We'll add square for this one, and then we'll choose save and exit. So notice that our bubble is just a little too small for the drawing. And the reason why this is is MetQ uses the dim scale factor. That's dim scale. Let's type it in and you can set this to a higher value. If you want that to be three or four times the size, you just type that factor in like this. Then our next bubble will be the correct size. So we can erase this, go back and just start labeling again. Choose this and enter. We'll choose the square and we'll choose okay. And that's going to increase that bubble size for us. Now we're ready to label the next one, which is bomb balloons. This time we're going to do no leader. So we're just going to type in N for none. And we're going to just place the leader directly in the center of this circle. And we can end the description here. Save and exit. Okay. I'm also using a AutoCAD alternative called AviCAD. And we're in our 2025 release now. If you have AutoCAD, maybe you'd like to have a look at that. If you're interested in a alternative, AviCAD's native file type is also DWG and the two programs can work side by side. Now we could just take this blue and then copy it over here to the other circle that we want just to stay at a little time. And if we wanted to, we could just come up here and do the same goal and then come into the pull down here and choose bomb balloons edit command and pick this balloon, enter, and then chain 
description of it. So we'll just hit and try and then save and exit. That's going to be item three and some issues. Okay. And then we can just take this and we'll copy it this way. To finish up the tabulation, I'm going to show you one more setting. So we'll come up here, go to our bomb configure, and we will choose the leader only for the balloon shape here. Apply, then go ahead and put the bubble on. Although it's really not going to be a bubble, you're just going to be text in this case. Let's choose another style here. Let's choose the dot style. So D for dot, we'll choose the end here and we'll come over, place our second point in, enter. And this is going to be item four. Now in this case, let's just make it a little bit longer. So four dash one, two, three, and then we'll add the description, add new, and we'll just say tangle and then save and exit and choose okay and as you can see it's labeled it there now let's place another one down this direction this here and we'll come this way this time make sure it has the same item moon because it's the same object really and we'll change that to rectangle okay now we're ready to build the schedule and we'll come up here we'll choose the bond table and we'll place the table up here. Notice that it's asking us we want a balloon or front file. So we press enter for balloon. And then we'll place the upper right corner here. And then that builds in our table with the quantities and the descriptions. So I hope this is giving you a, a glimpse of the general bill of materials. It's been a while since I've done a video on it. And we have made a few improvements here and there. So check it out. Please like, subscribe, or just leave a comment. And we'll see you in the next video.